Hi guys, welcome back to another lovely Sporkle Queers. And today we're focusing on a bit of history. We're doing a lot of geography. Uh, but this one, we're again back with the UK. We're back with Britain. and Well, specifically England. And let's, uh, let's see whether we can name the kings and queens of England. I mean, there's a lot of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in them. So we can kind of name them. But I'm going to try and do it in order. But... I'm not going to be able to. <laughs> so, we shall see. We shall see. Um, so, let's start. And, of course, we're going to start 1066 with William I, William the Conqueror. Then his son Henry I came. No, really? Oh. Edward the I? Okay. That, that was a long way off. The House of York. Uh, there's a lot of Richards in that. So, Richard the I. Really? Uh, we've got to go Henry the Second after Henry the First. No, what? Oh, we're going this way. That's why I was so confused. Henry the Second's over there. William. Um, this is not all the way back to Alfreds and Ethelwards and Ethel, e Egberts and stuff. So William Henry. John. There is a John somewhere. Yeah, John. That's in 1199, though. I thought Henry's son became king straight after William. Do we have William... Do we have William the Second yet? Yeah, we do. William the Second. So what would that be? That's not a Henry. It's not a Richard. Is it William... I mean, William the Third? Oh. William the Third's all the way over there, so I guess not. Henry the Second is there. John Edward the First is there. So who else? What are the names? <laughs> Charles? I mean, no, it's not Charles the First. Charles the First all the way over there. Right, let's go through these guys though. Edward the First Longshanks. Let's go for Edward the Second after him. And then let's go to Henry the Third. Henry the Third's in there, so Henry the Fourth. Yeah, he was not a great king, even though he's mighty Lancaster. But um, I mean, Richard of York, Richard the Second. Okay, well then we got Richard the Third over here. I'm gonna. So Henry the Fourth is there. Right, John, John the Second. We didn't. We've never had a King Paul, right? I don't think. Matthew. No. Paul. I actually don't know. Um. William, the fourth. William the fourth. There is a William the fourth. I didn't even know that William the fourth. Uh. What about William the fifth? No. No William the fifth. Not yet. Um. Henry the fourth. And we go. Henry the fifth or Henry the Tudor. Um, Henry the sixth, yeah. Henry the seventh, and then Henry the eighth. Henry the seventh, then Henry the eighth. I'm just gonna have to skip out these guys. So, oh, who is between Edward the second and Richard the second? Uh, then we got Henry the eighth, and then I mean, do we have John Percy here? No. John, yeah, no John, more Johns. Well, uh, Mary. Elizabeth, is Elizabeth after Henry VIII? Elizabeth the first? No, that's after Mary. Uh, Jane, yeah, Lady Jane Grey. Well, is that after Richard the fourth, though? Or Charles, no, Charles the first all the way over there. So we got Henry. I don't think there was a Henry the Ninth. No. Oh, this is this is hard, bro. Uh, George the First. I mean, I think that's a long time after. Yeah, we got House of Hanover. So George the First. So I mean, we got William the First, William the Second, Henry the First. No, what? Uh, someone I don't know. Henry the Second. Richard first, John, Henry the second, Edward the first, Edward the second. A gap that's a really big, long, that's 50 years of reign as well. 
Richard the second. Uh, the prince is in the tower. That was Edward. We got Edward. What about Edward the third? It was Edward the third. Okay, that fills that gap. So we got the House of Lancaster. And we got the House of York. We're already up to Richard the third. Then House of Tudor, Henry, 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 Henry. Before Lady Jane Grey, Thomas, Thomas? No. I, I don't know who between Henry, who who succeeded after Henry the Eighth. Uh, so let's move on to the House of Stuart. Um, Henry the Ninth. We don't have that. Charles the First. Then we got Charles the Second. Does Oliver Cromwell count, or is that just? taken out no uh, Charles the third is all the way down there oh that, that's now okay I think Edward the fourth oh wait Edward the fourth is there in House of York oh what about Edward the fifth then then I think House of Stuart will have some Edwards oh no Edward the sixth is in the House of Tudor <laughs> what about Edward the seventh no, that's House of Saxe Coburg Gotha. So, Stuart, we'll, we'll run out of Henry's. What about Richard the Fourth? Richard the Fifth? Richard the Sixth? Richard the Seventh? Have we gone through all the Richards? Richard the Second, Richard the Third. Uh, yeah. I think we have. So Charles, William, and Mary, Henry's, George the first. We got George the first. Uh, we'll go George the second. We can go all the way up to uh, George the second. Then that's George the third. I know that for a fact. The Mad King. Uh, and then we do we have George the fourth. Straight after William the fourth. William the third. Fifth, no. Uh, George the Fifth. I know, yeah, that's too late. And then we have George the Sixth uh, as well. We've also got Edward the Eighth. Yeah, Edward the Eighth in there. And obviously uh, Elizabeth the Second. Oh, we've got uh, Victoria. Oh, so... I mean, I mean, it's a lot of uh, a lot of trial and error, really, isn't it? But you got thirty-eight out of forty-two. I I don't know any of the others. So, oh, James, Stephen, we got King Stephen the first, Stephen and Matilda. Uh, didn't? Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. We got James the first, James the second, and Anne. Okay. Oof. Well, that's uh, that's decent. That's decent. That's decent. Uh, but yeah, we'll uh, we'll go on to another history quiz. I think we've done quite well there. Ninety percent out of eighty-five. I mean, a lot of it was just Edward the First and Edward the Eighth or whatever. But that's fine. Anyway, we'll uh, I'll see you on the uh, next quiz, guys. So we hit uh, here the uh, UK pub quiz. Our hefty history as uh, prices cut and frozen <laughs> comes up on screen. These advertisements, bro. Uh, but let's go UK pub quiz. Our hefty history. Uh, which of these was not the name of a king of England in the 11th century? I mean, Harthak Nut. Okay. Uh, <laughs> how old was King Edward V when he was locked in the Tower of London and subsequently succeeded by his uncle Richard? He was young. He was 12. Uh, what did King Charles I try but failed to do in 1642, which was immediately followed by the start of the English Civil War? I... It's either one of these two. I'm going to go with arrest five MPs. Yeah. Makes sense. Uh, Royals and renegades. King Edward VIII's love interest and the reason for his abdication was from the US. Know that. Zara Tyndall, the granddaughter of Elizabeth II, won a world championship in which sport? Equestrian. Wars and warriors. Which one of these was a Celtic tribeswoman? Okay, Boudicca. There was a lot of Celtic people on there, so well done to the person who made this. Uh, which London football stadium shares its name with the Battle of 1066? Stamford Bridge, of course. Uh, Richard the Lionheart fought in which medieval conflict? I mean, 
I mean, uh, I mean, there's only one option that's, that's available. Like, if it had, like, the second Crusade or the first Crusade, I wouldn't have known. But, okay. Who wrote the Char Tennyson, right? Yeah. The Charge of the Light Brigade. The war film The Battle of Britain is about the Royal Air Force pioneering person. The Saxon monk known as Venerable Bede, <laughs> Betty, Betty Bede, was known for writing an authoritative book on what? I think it's medicine. Oh, it's British history, okay. The SI unit named after Isaac, Isaac Newton. How is this British history, bro? Isn't Isaac Newton from uh, Austria? Um, but yeah, no. So Newton's is a measure of force. Uh, for which country of the UK was John Logie Baird, the inventor of television? Well, that sounds the most Scottish name I've ever heard. Uh, what was the name of the vehicle that Donald Campbell was killed in while attempting to beat his own world record? Uh, Bluebird? Uh, British athlete Jonathan Edwards won a world record in 1995 in which track and field discipline? Oh, Jonathan Edwards. Uh, triple jump, I think, yep. Yeah. Which of these people was not an MP in the 17th century, but in fact a political philosopher who wrote a book called Leviathan? Uh, well, Oliver Cromwell was. I think that's John Pym, but no, Thomas Hobbes. I was between those two. Which British Prime Minister was responsible for creating the police force? Robert Peel. I don't know. <laughs> According to former Prime Minister Harold Wilson, how long was a long time in politics? A day? Oh, a week. Okay. Which of these government areas voted for Scottish independence in 2014? Well, I, I think the cities might not have. It was Glasgow. Okay. Which of these pairs of politicians do not share the same first name? Tony Bennett and, and Tony Blair. Harold Macmillan, Harold Wilson. David Kia Hardy. I think it's Canning and Cameron. Yeah. Hans Holbein painted a famous portrait of which monarch? I think the... Oh, Henry VIII. Okay. Which of these authors was female? Uh, George Eliot, I think. Isn't that Mary Shelley? I, I can't remember. Paul McCartney became part of which band who changed their name to mention him? Wings? Who played the Queen in the 2006 film? Oh, I, I don't know. Judy Dench. Helen Mirren, apparently. Uh, which British person won an Oscar for Best Director for Slumdog Millionaire? Christopher... N oh, Danny Boyle. Oh, Danny Boyle. Which of these people was voted... Was not voted as one of the top 10 greatest Britons of all time? I mean, surely. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. Oh, nice. Nice. Right, we'll go on to another one, guys. That was quite good, though. I, I enjoyed that one. Um, let's see whether they've got any more on their playlist. So another UK pub quiz one around the UK. Apparently, it's general knowledge, so let's see. In which Welsh town is the National, National, National Library of Wales located? I'm, I don't think it'll be Bangor. I'm going to say Newport. Oh, it's Aberystwyth. Okay. Where in London could you find the statue of the Angel of Christian Charity? Bro, I don't know. Hyde Park, uh, Piccadilly Circus, apparently. Which of the following, founded in 1096, is the oldest U university? It's got to be universe. Oh, Oxford, really? Oh, damn. Ah, oh, this is not going well. It was announced that which British computer scientist will be featured on the reverse of the new polymer 50 pound note? Uh, Tim Berners Lee. Real? Oh, Alan Turing, it was, yeah. Ah, well, <laughs> which battle? 1485 saw Henry Tudor beat defeat Richard III in the last significant engagement of the War of the Roses. It's the Battle of Bosworth Field. I know that one, okay. In which part of the UK would you find the towns of Carrick, Fergus, Newton Abbey, and Newry? That's Wales, surely. Northern Ireland, okay. Which UNESCO World Heritage Site can be found approximately three miles northeast from Bushmills? Surely the Giant's Causeway. Yep. Uh, the TT motorbike race takes place on which British island? The Isle of Man. Which Scottish city is known as the Granite City and the Silver City with the Golden Sands? 
Um, Inverness? Aberdeen, okay. Which stately home in Hampshire was used to film the exterior shots of Downton Abbey for the television drama? I have no clue. I have no clue. <laughs> I've got three so far. <laughs> Which UK city has train stations of New Street, Snow Hill and Moore Street? Sounds like Edinburgh to me. Birmingham, apparently. Which site close to Milton Keynes was used during Second World War to decrypt German codes is now home to the National Museum of... Uh, Chatsworth House? Bletchley Park. Oh. Which comedy was voting Britain's best sitcom? I'm going to say Only Fools and Horses, surely. In which year did Cardiff celebrate 100 years of being a city and 50 years of being the capital of Wales? Ah, guess that. Which of the following statements applies to British Prime Minister Spencer Percival? The youngest... There we are, the only one to be assassinated, apparently. Which fortification, closely associated with the legend of King Arthur, can be found on an island adjacent to a village in North Cornwall? Oh, Tintagel, you... Of course! Uh, Florence Nightingale, Charles Dickens, Charles Darwin and Jane Austen have all appeared on which uh, denomination? Ten pounds, I think. In which Welsh castle was used for the investiture of Prince Charles as the Prince of Wales in 1969? A Carnarvon... I think. Downhill Strand in County Derry, Castle Ward in County Down, and the Dark Hedges in County Antrim. Well, this person loves TV-like filming things. I'll say Game of Thrones. In which city did Lady Godiva reputedly ride naked on horseback through the marketplace? Canterbury? Coventry, I don't know. Which Scottish town is famous for the eloping couples that travel there to be married over the blacksmith's anvil? I don't know. Gretna Green. <laughs> In which English seaside town is the comedy series Faulty Towers set? Torquay? Okay. Which of the following pieces of Cockney rhyming slang corresponds to a type of food or drink? Uh, apples and pears. There. Ruby Murray is... Ruby Murray. I think that's it. I don't know what it is, but... Which Devonshire village named after Charles Kingsley's novel has the unique distinction of being the only place in the UK to have an exclamation mark as part of its name. Westwood Ho, sounds like it. Which of the following is the largest cathedral and religious building in the UK? Oh. Liverpool Cathedral, really? Average was 64. Bro, I did terrible. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. Um, let's go for... Let's have another round. Let's go UK pub quiz from across the pond. Interesting, right? Let's go. Which British automotive pioneer was the first Briton to be killed in an aeronautical accident? Charles Rolls. I okay, yes. Which university did Mick Jagger attend? London School of Economics. How am I supposed to know that, bro? Who was the longest serving prime minister? Glad's oh, Robert Walpole. Yakety Sax was the closing theme to which song? I don't, I, I don't know these. Wilfred Bramall, who portrayed Albert Steptoe, portrayed the grandfather of which Beatle? I don't know. I, what, is these? what are these, bro? How old is the person who wrote these? Um, Blackbeard is Edward Teach, right? Which author's first major publication was Pickwick Papers? I don't know. Which is the oldest university? We've done this. Oxford. Who is considered the founder of modern nursing? Florence Nightingale. Who was the first British recipient of the Nobel Peace Prize? I don't know. I don't know who that is. Who was the last Viceroy of India? What? what? I don't know. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> Which of these works of art was not painted by Turner? The blue boy. I like Turner. Turner's my favourite artist, so... One of them. Well, one of them. Following the Harry Potter series, what was the first novel by J.K. Rowling not involving the wizarded world? Casual vacancy. Chariots of Fire is the true story of Eric Liddell and Harold Abrahams in the 1924 Olympics, which best describes their success. I don't know, bro. Uh, I know this one. <laughs> 
First mammal cloned from an adult somatic cell was Dolly the sheep. At which university did this occur? Edinburgh. Bro, which actress portrays Eve in Killing Eve? I don't know, bro. There's so many pop culture ones. Which constituent country is the birthplace of ACDs, Angus and Malcolm Young? I don't know. Thomas Lipton of tea and grocery fame competed regularly in which sport? I don't know. <laughs> Final ruler is of the House of York was Richard III. Bro, that is so hard. So many pop culture ones from like 50 years ago in that. Right, I'll do, we'll do one more, guys, and we'll do a history one this time. Right, guys, we've got the UK history grab bag. Uh, so basically, we just name all the people and the events in this. So let's start with which country did England unite with to form Great Britain? Scotland? Scotland! What, who was the first Hanoverian king? It's George I, I believe. Yep. Who was the first Prime Minister of Great Britain? I have no idea. Which war with Spain came about partly because of a severed ear of a ship captain? Um... Hmm. Which war with Spain? I mean, war of... The Spanish War? <laughs> I don't know, bro. I don't know. Um, let me just, uh, let me just go on to the next one. During which war were French driven out India and British North America? Can we go the war of 1812? No. Say the Napoleonic Wars. Oh, I don't know. Which country came to rule large areas of India? Um, the, uh... East India Company. Okay. East India. Okay, there we are. Which PM is best known for leading Britain in the French Revolutionary Wars? Uh, William Pitt. The young... Uh, do I have to type in the younger? There we are. <laughs> the Acts of Union 1800 joined which country with Great Britain and created the UK? Wales? Okay. Say Ireland? Yeah. Which politician was the leader of the parliamentary campaign against the British slave trade? Oh, oh, I don't know. Wasn't it the Duke of... Was it not the Duke of York? Or George, George III? I mean, it's 1832. I don't know. Who was the only Prime Minister of Britain or the UK to be assassinated? Percival? Percy? Percyville? I don't know. Can't remember. Uh, Kingdom Brunel for the... Uh, for the. How do you spell it? I Isambard. What a name, bro. Isambard Kingdom... I don't know how you spell that, but we'll have to... We'll find out. Whoa! Me mic again. <laughs> Two wars Britain fought with the the tea wars, the wars of tea, the war. Oh, opium. Sorry, the opium wars. Opium wars. The UK joined France, the Ottoman Empire, and Kingdom of Sardinia to fight which war with Russia? The Crimean War. There we are. Which event caused the British government to take direct control over India? Oh, I don't know. Oh, it's got dates here as well. Um, I, yeah, it's got dates. So, which event, uh, which Prime Minister made Queen Victoria Empress of India in 1876? Disraeli? Yeah. Okay. Over 1,300 British troops were killed in the Battle of Izan, Izandalwana during which war? The Zulu? Yeah, the Anglo-Zulu War. Which Victorian Prime Minister introduced two Irish Home Rule Bills into Parliament? Both defeated. Gladstone? Yeah. Which war did Britain fight against the Transvaal? That's the Boer War. I know my wars, okay? <laughs> During which World War One battle did the British Army suffer nearly 60,000? Some. Which king abdicated? So, Edward the... 
Edward the third? Edward the... Oh, Edward the eighth row, yeah. Which prime minister refused to surrender to Nazi Germany? Churchill. This is it's a bit easy, isn't it? Churchill. Uh, which crisis brought down PM Anthony Eden's government? Uh, is it oil crisis, I would say? Is it not the oil crisis? Oh, the Suez crisis. Yeah, the Suez crisis. Sorry. Which prime minister took the UK into the EU? It was Thatcher, wasn't it? Was it not Thatcher? Uh, Macmillan? Smith? Asquith? <laughs> Eden? No. I don't know then. Which war did the UK fight with Argentina? The Falkland War. I know my war's okay. Falkland War. The Falkland War? I thought that's how you spelt it. Well, okay. I, I, I think we're doing good there. And I'll, Let's see the answers. So Robert Walpole was the first Prime Minister. The War of Jenkins' Ear. The Seven Year War is the French driven out of India and British North America. Which politician was a leader of parliament? William Wilberforce. I should have known that. Percy. I kept putting Percy. It's Percival. Isambard Kingdom Brunel. That's, I swear I wrote that. Uh, the Indian Mutiny, Edward Heath, and the Falklands War. Well, that is our sort of British history video wrapped up then, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Please comment down below how you did. Um, and whether you're doing any good or not, um, please like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I'll see you again on the next video.